What on YouTube fam? It's your man Logician back with some more high science and true knowledge. Um I was uh supposed to be meditating right now, but uh, I just got this stuff in my mind, I need to get it out. Um and then I wanna talk about hopefully in like eight minutes or less, uh, I wanna talk about why intelligent uh, why women love intelligence in a man and women love intelligent men and sophisticated men. And this has been my experience over the years from the time I was young up till now, that women love intelligent men. It's, it's an extremely uh, potent attractor of women. And, and when there's a stigma in our society that nerds and you know, nice guys are really intelligent, but, and, but, that, but they get always get put in the friend zone or looked upon as weak. So a lot of men think kind of kind of link intelligence and uh, uh, being unattractive to uh, usually the more beautiful, especially the more beautiful, you know, or sexier or hot hotter women, and it's just untrue. And uh, the reasons why nice guys get looked on as uh, being weak or predictable or you know, smothering or boring, um, and women go after the good, uh, bad guys or thugs. Check out my other videos on that. But I just want to give a couple of examples that I've experienced of uh, women being attracted to me because of my intelligence. Um, the the most recent, well, one of the the most blatant recent uh, uh, um, events happened about. Uh, I guess about eight or nine months ago in the winter, I was at this uh, I was at this event, and I, I had a couple of friends there, and I came with another friend to this event. And um, after the event was over with, I was you know sitting down chilling, and uh, one this young lady I, that I met earlier in the night was one of my friends' friends, uh, one of her girlfriends. I met her earlier in the night. You know, we just said, spoke, I said hi or whatever, it wasn't nothing. It was just cordial. So at the end of the night, she came over and, uh, uh, you know, we kind of talked for a while. You know, she struck up a conversation. But it, it wasn't long, long, it was maybe a minute, you know, or, or two minutes or something like that. We didn't, it wasn't nothing deep. I think we talked about the show or something. And one of my friends came by and said, uh, oh, I see you met my man here. You know, this, you know, this dude is a genius. And, uh. And the girl looked at me, she was like, what? And her mouth just dropped. She, and she stared at me for about two or three seconds. And I was like, you're a genius? And then, and then my friend walked off. And so she stayed, stood there looking at me with her mouth open. <laughs> so I tried to kind of play it off. She was cool. I wasn't really feeling it at all. But, so uh, I just was like trying to play it off. Like, okay, you know, yeah, well, you know, if you got friends, you know, they, they try to make you look good or whatever. Ha, 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 trying to turn it into a joke. But... She was like serious. So then my other friend came about maybe uh, a minute later. And so we talked for my and my other friend came by about a minute later and was like, Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, this is uh yeah, this is this is, you know, you met you know, you met him earlier in the night, you know. He you know, you know he's a genius, right? And she looked at me again and was like, Oh my goodness, you know, so her mouth open dropped again, and my friend left. It was almost like they planned it or something. Like they didn't, but it just seemed like it. So from then on, like the next, you know, two, three or four minutes, you know, she was really trying to get at me. You know, well, I wouldn't really feel her like that, but, you know, she was really trying to get at me. So, uh, make a long story short, my uh, the other friend that I was with, after we, we, you know, we got back in the car, started drove going home. He's like, man, man, when that girl heard you, when they said you was a genius, man, that girl was all over you, man. I was like, oh, I didn't even even know that you noticed. Uh, I didn't even see see you there. I didn't know you noticed. He's like, man, I was watching the whole thing, man. That girl was all over you. And um, the reason they said I was a genius is because I helped, you know, one of their uh, family members out in, in a medical condition. The medical uh, system couldn't. So. But uh, that's one example. Another example is um, one of my one of my friends. We were talking about something. And I told her. I said, you know, well, 
you're asking the wrong question. I said, I said, Albert Einstein said that if he had an hour to live, he would spend 50 minutes trying to figure out which question to ask in order to get, he said if he had an hour to live on a, uh, before he uh, got killed, something like that, he would, uh, he would spend 50 minutes trying to ask, trying to figure out which question he would ask in order to get himself out of the situation so he could stay alive. Then he would spend the other 10 minutes trying to answer the question that he spent 50 minutes trying to figure out what to ask. And um, she was like, uh, about five minutes later, she was like, you know what, you know what, do that again. I was like, do what again? She was like, quote, quote, quote Einstein again. And I was like, why? And she was like, because, cause, you know, that's, that's, that's sexy. And it, it shocked me. Uh, she was a very attractive young lady, you know, gets a lot of attention from men. But she told me that quoting Albert Einstein was sexy to her. And this kind of stuff happens to me a lot, you know, where women were attracted to me because of my intelligence and, and, and sophistication, and they've told me so on several occasions. But the problem is with bad boys and not, and uh, I mean, the problem is with the nice guys, nerds, or whatever, is, is you guys don't distinguish yourselves from anybody. I mean, being smart is cool, but if you're smart and uninteresting, you know, it's not attractive. It, and like I explained in my other video on uh, uh, alpha males, you have to have you have to have knowledge about the real world, tangible knowledge that you can use to help or direct the female you're trying to get with in, 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 certain, in a certain direction. You know, it, it can't just be a bunch of information about your favorite comic book hero. You have to you know, go out and learn about physiology, about how the body works, about you know, health, plants, and stuff like that, and learn how it relates to the everyday world, and, and learn how, you can, how the average person can apply it to their life to make their life better. And you can just, you know, you can use this kind of stuff, like I quoted Einstein, in the situation to help that young lady out. It was appropriate for that. And she thought that was sexy. So um, a lot of, you know, women like men that are distinguished, that, are, that stand out from the, from the crowd. Women like men that are interesting. And when they, women say they want a challenge, a lot of these women go after these thugs and bad boys. True, they offer a challenge. But you can offer a challenge on, on, a, on a higher caliber than they do. And um, because most of these thugs and bad boys offer challenges on the most minimum level. And it's, it's you know, it's, it's almost like barbaric, you know, these women saying, well, I want a challenge, you know, he... You know, trying to get a guy to call you that's not, you know, be on time, it's never on time. You get a guy to call you back and he's not going to call you back. To stop smacking you in the face and he's not going to stop. That's the kind of crazy, quote, challenges these women talk about. But anyway, see me on part two. I thought I was going to get done with it in one session, but I obviously not.